This is nature, life on our planet, and how its many dimensions interact. This is how we benefit from it, and too often, how we misuse it. Nature is declining at unprecedented rates. Species extinctions are accelerating. Most biodiversity targets established a decade ago won't be reached, with grave impacts on people around the world. The fabric of life is deteriorating fast, and our planet desperately needs some respite. COVID-19 has been a harsh wake-up call for humanity. Something has to change, and an incremental transition will not be enough. We need sweeping, transformative changes, starting with individual decisions and building up to new social norms and laws, unlocking all kinds of other changes, from the local to the global level. But can we design and implement necessary actions and pathways to halt biodiversity loss, and beyond that, live in harmony with nature? The post-2020 biodiversity goals permanently seem to be risk being missed because policy decisions in the past haven't been taken. Well, we no longer have that luxury. The answer is yes, but it will take deep change and collective effort, experts pointed out during a three-day online workshop. It's a huge opportunity to be a disruptor and activator of positive change involving everybody in what comes next. Difficult conversations are inevitable with people who will need some convincing. Deep change is needed is not really a new concept. Very interesting discussion of what a framework for all means. Very happy to see a focus on behavior change. These were some of the points raised in the background document prepared by an expert working group managed by the Eclipse Project. Participants of the workshop discussed these considerations. They further stressed that fresh approaches underpinned by science are needed to tackle direct and indirect drivers of biodiversity loss. For this, we need guidance on how to embark on transformative change, not a GPS leading us to a defined place. We need leadership and vision, not just resources and strategies. And we need to involve the whole of society, not just governments. So the imperative of the global biodiversity framework is not to provide a route map of the transformative actions that we need to address uh, the challenge and to lead to transformative outcomes. But instead that what its role should be is to provide a compass. Making everyone aware of the problem is the first step. Through tailored messaging about key topics such as co-benefits and local and national buy-in. Yet awareness raising alone is not enough. It needs to be backed up by deliberate steps well-resourced and well-designed inclusive processes. It should be tackling root causes and exploring multiple paths for multiple regions. It should include the South and expanding the action arena to cover diverse areas of the economy and society and the trade-offs and co-benefits that ensue. We need to involve the financial sector to invest differently. Lastly and importantly, it also means adopting proactive approaches, including critical issues where transformational change must happen, such as sustainable production and consumption, climate change, cities, and health. And this must be supported by respective accountability, monitoring, capacity building, and learning approaches. The post-2020 biodiversity framework must be bold, equitable, and nature positive. Sure, this sounds very ambitious, but it must also be rational and achievable. It's not too late to make a difference if we start now. Maybe being so transformative is always going to carry some risk, and to be ambitious and to develop new ways of doing things and new approaches to building capacity, new forms of finance, some of them won't work. And I think we need to be able to be prepared for that. So in terms of next steps, I think I would encourage us to kind of uh, think big and uh, be adventurous. Research and innovation must help in our understanding how such transformative change can be accelerated and how solutions for biodiversity can be developed, deployed and promoted. Healthy biodiversity, healthy ecosystems, healthy people, one planet living in harmony with nature. <laughs>